And tonight we have some personal recollections from two of us here at Channel 3 who were in New York City on September 11th, 2001. Maureen Kyle was a student at Fordham University in the Bronx. There she is with her dad, Chuck. I was a CBS News correspondent based in New York. Here's a portion of our conversation. You and I have talked about this. We have. We have. Over lunch. And, and the thing is, we talk about this, we don't talk about it with a lot of people. No. Exactly. I mean, I, I've probably told you mm -hmm. details about that day that I never told my husband or any of my family. And it, it's strange because when you were there, there's a deeper understanding of what actually happened that day and nuances that, that I don't think anybody who wasn't there would really yeah. have lived through and understand. I think you're right. When I do talk about this, I, I tell people that there is, every day of my life, there is some thought in my head, some reference somewhere, something that reminds me. Yeah. Uh, of that day. You're a parent, I'm a parent. Yeah. I, so, uh, Pat and Chuck, <laughs> have two kids in Manhattan. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine if they were talking about what their day was like? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is, you know what, if I ever choke up, this is where I start, because they were worried about mm. us. And um, my mom said she ran out of her classroom crying, and my sister ran out of her classroom crying. And I just, like, gosh, they were worried about me. And that's what... It's, it's like, I feel like I didn't go through it anyway, and I don't know if you feel this way, where I was fine, and it was all the other people, the 3,000 people that did die that weren't okay. It was, it's just, I don't know, I guess I, I feel like, why were they worried about me? I know what you're saying. It, that hit me a few days later. Yeah. Uh, they sent me to the armory mm -hmm. in Manhattan, which had been set up for folks to come to with pictures of their relatives who worked in the World Trade Center they hadn't seen. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Uncle Joe? Yeah. Have you seen my dad? Have you seen my sister? And I can remember them coming up to us. We were doing a live, live reports out front and begging with us to put their pictures mm -hmm. on television. And yeah. they would walk in this armory, this, which was, you know, not a, a, was not exactly an inviting building to begin with. And I would see them walk out just in tears. Yeah and they would come to us and, and plead and talk about helplessness. I, I can do nothing for these people. Right. All I can do is try to tell their story. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll just never forget the faces yeah. that I saw that day yeah. and the stories that I heard. Mm -hmm. and, and I can tell you, we were there for two days. I, of the people we talked to, there were no great outcomes. No. Not at all. No. And I think about those people today, and I, 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 I hope they're okay, and I wonder how they, right. they deal with this day. If you and I are having this discussion, and we're both, the, you know, getting, you know, uh, verklempt yeah. uh, over this and choked up, I can only imagine, you know, what they're going through. Yeah. And that is just a part of our conversation. You can watch more of it and our other stories on WKYC.com, Remembering 9-11.